Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lean Heart. We are more than a channel, we are a community. Heart Squad, I have tons and tons of mystery packages and mystery boxes, including this big one right back here that I'll be opening up in its entirety in today's video. Like I said, there are several packages that we are getting to today and each and every one of them is gonna have some incredible Pokemon card goodiness in it or at least something Pokemon, I promise you that. So, we are gonna get right into this first one. Did just open up the top of it so we can go a little bit faster. Oh my, I'm feeling a graded Pokemon card on the ends. Oh my God, okay, I don't wanna see it just yet. There is a PSA graded Pokemon in this first package, and it feels like there's some booster packs too, along with a note, of course or non-sealed booster packs, a Burning Shadows one and an Evolutions one, and then there's the PSA card, but of course, I wanna read the note real quick and see what it says. It says, from July 6, oh gosh. Dear Leonhardt, first of all, congratulations on getting married, thank you. I'm so happy for you and Rebecca. I am writing this letter just to say how much I appreciate you and your videos. I have included a few goodies to express my gratitude because you truly make my day every single day for over a year. And for that, I am eternally grateful. The Burning Shadows pack is custom, so please do the card trick, of course. Thank you for everything you do, and I look forward to another great year. Sincerely, Cody Riley. Thanks so much, Cody. You do comment a lot, and I do respond, so I appreciate you doing that. All right, let's check out this PSA graded card. This is incredible, here we go. Wow, a 2004 Pokemon EX Fire Red and Leaf Green Parasect Holographic card. Wow. And it is a mint nine. It was just so like concentrated on the card itself that I didn't even see that this is a PSA mint nine out of 10. So Cody, Cody, my boy, thank you so much for this. This is very nice card from four, over 14 years ago from Fire Red and Leaf Green, so that's a great set. So I'll put that over there. And then we have, I think you just said the Burning Shadows pack is custom. I don't know about this pack, but I'll just go hold, go hold. I'll go ahead and uh, open this pack. It was like opened already, but it looked like it may have been trying to be sealed. I don't know. So no card trick for this one. Oh, no guess the energy game, excuse me. All right, coughing. Misty's Determination, Revive, Seal, Nidoran Male, Ponyta, Doe, Duo, Pikachu, Super Potion, and a Blastoise EX. The centering on the card is pretty bad, but it is still cool because it is Blastoise and it's an Ultra Rare with one pack. So Cody, I don't know if that pack was supposed to be a custom pack or not, but I like the luck of that one. Blastoise EX, very nice. But this one, this Burning Shadows pack, is supposed to be. I am still searching for that hyper rare Charizard, but I did take a quick peek at the top card and it looks like it's not even Burning Shadow, so I don't know how many card trick, like is it four card trick or three? I'm just gonna do three, but it could be four. Okay. I guess I, I think it's right. Anyway, if I was gonna do the Lean Hearts patented trademark guess the energy game, of course I was gonna guess I was gonna guess psychic, of course. It's a reverse holographic form, so that's nice. Ooh, so this is not a Burning Shadows pack. That is from 2010, hashtag Magikarp Army. There's the Drowsy. Seriously been mentioning this Drowsy for the past like several videos. Whenever we pull it, it's just like so magical. It deserves its own show. An E-Series, Taylo. Looks like maybe Expedition? Coughing? Pikachu. Wow, these are blasts from the past. I have not seen this card. That is Cubone juggling the bones of another. Natu, how do you do? I think that's uh, EX Sandstorm, I believe. Machop, but that is a shadowless Machop card. That's great. Notice the no shadow right there. And Fletchling and the rare. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. It's a Southern Island Togepi card. I hope I'm pronounced like saying the name of the set right. Because I'm just in awe. It's the English one. That is gorgeous. I used to have like the whole Japanese set way back when. And so seeing one like this, and it's in pretty good condition too. That is a fantastic custom pack. So thank you so much, Cody. 
Togepi. Oh, that was great. Thank you so much. And that was just the first package today. Got this PSA min card in it. Oh my gosh. All right. The next one also looks like it's going to have some amazing graded cards in it, Hard Squads. So stay tuned for that. There is the package with that. Yeah, there's graded cards in here. Oh, this is going to be a good video. Please remember to uh, thank everybody that sends these. Uh, I really do appreciate the support and like the video too. It says, Leonhard, I wanted to send you a little something to show my appreciation. I don't know if you'll remember me, but I sent you the PSA 10 Grandpa the Grandpa pre-release promo a little over a year ago. I do remember that. I had a few more for you to enjoy along with the Heart Squad. Plus, hopefully y'all can see that. Plus a few others non-graded that you can give away to the Heart Squad members. Hope you and everyone enjoy. It says, P.S. I put a tab over the grades for the Guesty Grade Game. Oh, I'm so excited. From Mike K, Heart Squad member. Well, Mike, thank you first off for sending whatever is in this amazing bubble wrap. Seriously, the bubble wrap's the best part of this whole thing. No, I'm kidding. But I'm very grateful for this, so thank you so much, Mike. All right. Ooh, ooh. I don't want to see the grades yet? I don't know. Oh, it's a grow it on. That is beautiful. I'm just like in shock this whole time, just at how generous everybody is. Legendary Pokemon. I think that's from GameStop recently, so that's pretty cool. We'll go ahead and look at these first ones. So, oh, these are some vintage cards. That is, hopefully you can see it, a Sceptile from Fire Red and Leaf Green, I believe. Or no, this is a promo one. Pop series. I think this is from Pop Series 1, I'm not mistaken. That's really cool, the holographic card. Wow, these are incredible. There it is, Latios Prism Star card, very nice. And another Latios Prism Star card, very cool. And then a Pokemon League Darkrai card. So that is beautiful, awesome. And those are not even the graded cards, so uh, I, I guess, are the grades covered? Okay, the grades are covered. This is a 1999 base set Bulbasaur card. Just an unlimited version. We'll go ahead and uh, check the back. Y'all can, from what you can see on the camera, and I'm not going to inspect it like super close, so I'll just do a fast guess the grade game. I'm going to guess this is a min 10. I'm going to go ahead and guess that. Oh! I know my grades from far away. I don't even need a little like jewelry diamond inspector thing, whatever it's called. Bulbasaur, gem mint 10. That is beautiful. Put that in the back. So we are one for one. Hopefully y'all are the same. Next one, we'll go ahead and look at it. Oh my. This is the Charmander Toys R Us promo card holographic from 2016. This is already looking like it's a Gem Min 10. That would be insane to have this in Gem Min 10 form. Okay, there's a little like white at the top, so it may be, I don't know. I think they're still gonna give it a 10. Let's see, please. Ultimate nine. See, I knew I saw it. I saw the whitening at the top and I thought it may be, but that is still amazing to have this in mint nine form a charizard promo card that bulbasaur is so cool i know it's just the bulbasaur but it's bulbasaur come on everybody loves bulbasaur all right last one whoa whoa calm down a greninja break card oh the sticker must have fallen off oh i think the sticker was actually it fell off on this thing i think but a greninja from breakpoint that is a near mint mint eight so there's the back of it so can take a look just to see if there's any whitening or anything like that. Yeah, there's some whitening on the left corner right there. So that probably did it right there. But that is very, very nice. So thank you so much for these cards. That is absolutely incredible. Thank you so, so much for that. All right. Continuing on, we have a package from a special, special Heart Squad member. I believe their name is the Hollow Hunters. And let me make sure that's actually everything in there. Yes, it is. These are going to be pretty cool, at least from what I've been told. So let's take a look at the note and I'll read it. I shall read it. Hi, Leonhardt. There are here are five of my custom booster packs available for sale on eBay. 
The cards range from base set all the way to Champion Road, which are Japanese, and each pack guarantees a reverse holo of any rarity in a rare. This could be a non-holo holo super rare, uh, ultra rare, or secret rare. These five packs are picked out at ramen, random, I promise, so there's hopefully something good inside. The artwork isn't 100% yet, but I'm working on it. Anyway, it would be awesome if you can open these on YouTube. Yay! And then there it is. Holo Hunters PS card trick is two from the back. All right. Holo Hunters, thank you so much for sending me these. Ooh. These are looking nice. Look at that. Holo Hunters custom booster pack. And they got all the energies on this stuff. Oh, this is pretty nice. Let's see. Uh, I guess they just said they're all randomized. So we'll go ahead and open uh, each of them. So here they are. That's pretty nice. They're pretty sleek looking. I'll just go ahead with this back one first. So make sure, sorry about the uh, the very cool wrapping. Ooh, they're all protected. So that's pretty nice. Let's see what we can do. Two cards from the back, put it on the front. Oh my. Are they all gonna be vintage packs like this? I mean, vintage cards. Well, I guess I literally just read the note that said it was gonna be random cards, but this is a great start. So a Dark Gloom Team Rocket. Base set jinx, just so we can see a little bit more of what the uh, condition is. There's, it looks like it's in great condition. So, Dark Gloom Team Rocket Jinx from base set Eevee. So, there we go. We've got a little new one going on, or at least new from like almost four years ago, Eevee from 2015. Binacle Coughing Team Rocket card. Base set to Drowsy. So this is a great way to kind of collect the new and old, whether you want to start at whichever one. Tierno. Challenge. Uncommon Team Rocket card. But look at the artwork for that one. I really love Victory Bell looking like Snipe in the background. Ooh. That is a reverse rare holographic Drapion and... <gasps> A Clefable Base Set 2 Holographic card. That is gorgeous. That is very, very nice. And it actually looks like it's in great condition. So good for you for keeping your cards in great condition. Even like the holofoil part of the cards look incredible. That's very nice. So I hope all the packs are like this. This is going to be fun if all the packs are like this. Hollow Hunters custom booster pack. You can also probably go check them out on Twitter. Um, I didn't think I saw like their eBay link on the thing. So I guess just go search on eBay uh, and try to search for their packs that way. Um, so here we go. Oh, there we go. Starting off very, very nicely with an Arcanine base set two card. That is an uncommon. Vespiquin Magnemite base set two. Team Rocket Meowth. Such a great set is the Team Rocket set. Oddish, Team Rocket. Surskit. Oh my gosh, there's something incredible in the back. <laughs> Professor's Letter. You're seeing it right now. I know, okay, there's Kawhi Leonard right here. Japanese card. Very cool. Japanese cards, the quality are amazing. Victini. Reverse Rare Holographic. And, and a Secret Rare Energy Switch card. Now, Hollow Hunters did say they randomized this. So, uh, so far, this is absolutely incredible that we just got a secret rare energy switch card. Is that from Roaring Skies? I'm not exactly sure, but because these are the first two packs. I mean, that's is that not a winning combination right there? And we still have three more of these to go. Hollow Hunters custom booster pack. Yeah, definitely uh, check them out and. Uh, this can be like a little let me know what y'all think. If you know some people go get some, you can definitely let me know what you think of them. And uh, maybe we'll do a follow-up video. All right, starting off with a really more new one. Wimson Scott, Lipard. Whoop, got a little Charmander and hashtag Magikarp army there. This is the same Magikarp that Target, I believe, made into a promo card. Or it was a Toys R Us. I think it was Toys R Us made into a promo card. Mucha Halucha. I like how all of the cards are also protected by the uh, Ultra Plus Leaves. So that's a plus. Steven Energy. It's pretty cool. Quagmire from Family Guy is the reverse. And a Evolutions Raichu. So this is the first one that is not like too crazy. 
And I like that. I didn't want it to be like every single pack just because it would have been like, okay, well, you know, they just put great cards. But I mean, Raichu is still an awesome card. And this is from Evolutions. Non-holographic Raichu card. Alrighty then, we still got two more of the Hollow Hunters custom booster packs. And then we have two more mystery boxes to open up, which I'm very excited about. Like this really big box. Oh, getting confused old with the Japanese card right there. So starting off with a very nice Japanese card, a jungle card. So knew we would get some of the jungle cards in here. Team Rocket Magnemite. Beldum, Meowth, Professor Oak from Bayset. Very nice. It's a cool looking card, of course. Ooh, going way too fast. Professor's Letter, Metapod doing something to a tree. the reverse holographic. And a Dark Doug Trio Team Rocket card. It is non holographic, but it is still a very cool card. And of course, it's Doug Trio, and they're Looking pissed off like always for some reason. So there it is. A little closer look at the uh, artwork for this one. It's a very nice looking card. So there we go with that. And we are now down to the final pack of the Hollow Hunters custom Pokemon cards. Let's see if we can get something good. Oh, do got to make sure that I open it the right way. So, all right. Looks like maybe. Ooh, that is the back of an older vintage Japanese card. And I can already tell, I guess the rare is going to be a Japanese card, so... Ooh, it's a Weezing Fossil card. But it's Japanese, so it's pretty cool. There is a Jungle Persian card. Oddish. Team Rocket Ponyta. Unfortunate, there's a little, like, uh, like tear right there. Sorry, Ponyta. Gumi. Of course, this one, a base set to Rhyhorn is stuck to the back of Gumi. That's a nice one. Fossil Excavation Kit. Oh, there's something nice over there. It's Bill from Base Set. How you doing, Bill? Stoutland. Reminds me of the football team from Europe. And a Bennett GX Japanese card. And just so y'all can see the difference, because I know a lot of people are like, Noticing the back of the difference of the Japanese cards. So there's the vintage one, Pocket Monsters card game. And this one's just really rainbowy and nice. And then, of course, there's like the new ones. So those are the three backs of the Pokemon cards. Pretty cool looking. I think they're pretty cool looking. So that was very nice. And thank you, Hollow Hunters, for sending those. We did get some very nice. We got a secret rare energy switch. A, a very nice condition Clefable holographic base set two card. And a Dark Doug Trio Team Rocket non-holographic. And then there were some of the newer cards. But these are, the, these are the nicest ones from those. So, we have a really, really big box. Which I think I'm going to switch to my other camera and do it that way. See you in a sec. I'm back. All right, so we have the next mystery box right here. It literally says mystery box on it. And uh, and then we have the really, really big one. So this one wasn't gonna fit on the other camera and definitely the other one, which is going to have such amazing things in it. So stick around for that. So let's go ahead and open up this one. It looks like it is from Monster. And it says, scary good. So, ooh. What is this? Oh my gosh! There's a there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff in here. What is this first thing? So uh, this is a shirt, and it says "Monster" on it. Monster provides ways to protect your cards, whether it be Pokemon cards or other cards. So it's a medium. So it's actually gonna fit me. Yay! All right, so that's really cool. Also comes with this right here, monster little uh, bumper sticker. There's a note right here. It says, "I'll try to read it this way, so it's not too awkward." Hi, Leonhard. So excited to share the newest product in the Monster line. We hope you enjoy. We think it's scary good. Best Amy in the Monster team. So thank you so much, Amy, for sending me this box. Because it's scary good, of course. So there's another little bumper sticker thing. And, oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. This is pretty cool. I've actually never seen something like this before. So this is a dual playmat tube that holds two of your favorite playmats. 
So if you're always like struggling to move your play mat around, for especially for people that compete primarily, and you are don't want to mess your play mat as well, I this is like I've never maybe y'all have, but I've never seen something like this where you can actually protect your play mat. Not just one of them, but two of them. So that's pretty cool. I have my PSA play mat that they sent me, so I'll definitely be putting that in this thing and uh, just see how it protects it. So this, it holds two standard size play mats. That's pretty cool, so thank you so much, Monster. Go check out, I guess, that site right there if you would like to go check them out. So thank you so much, Monster, Amy, and the Monster team for sending me. And also, this box is really cool. I'm gonna save this box just to, uh, this is pretty big. Like, look how much room in the box. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking the box is just as cool as the other stuff in the thing. All right, so we have a really, really big box now. And I promise you, uh, this is gonna be good. So, this was, hold on, this is, oh, there we go. That's why I work out, is not to, you know, lift weights or anything, just to do it for fun. It's to open up mystery boxes like this big one right here. So, whoa, what is this? This is massive. Oh my, what does that say? It says, uh, Wicked Cool Toys. Okay, this is a pretty cool box. So we got a mystery box and a mystery box, and it looks like there is also something else. And I'm not talking about the bubble, because the bubble wrap is the bubble wrap's pretty cool. So what is this over here? Ooh, it's a Lunala toy. Oh my gosh, this is, a, this is incredible, look at that. A Lunala toy, large scale. Let me see if I could uh, take it out of this wrap and, uh, and see exactly what it does. That is nice. Like, I always like getting different toys like this because I can put them on the shelf over there. So, there it is, a Lunala toy. It's legendary Pokemon large scale. Let's take a look at the back. Oh, there's more of them! So you can actually get more of them. So a Lunala, and then right there, it kind of like tells you more about it. So put that a little bit closer so y'all, if y'all want to pause the video and read it, y'all can. And then it looks like you can get actually different ones. So there's a Necrozma, Solgaleo, is that a Decidueye? There's Ash, at least uh, the Alolan version of Ash. Lapras, and a Beware that's holding Eevee. Beware's holding Eevee and Pikachu. I'm pretty sure Beware's about to eat Pikachu and Eevee, so rest in peace, both of them. But this is pretty cool. Looking at it like this, quality's pretty nice. So Wicked Cool Toys, thank you so much for that. There is this, and this is actually pretty heavy, so uh, let's oh, see how you open it. Oh, this is a little fully open, so I gotta remember that. So here, here we go, trying to do it on screen at the same time, so bear with me. Ooh, look at this. I spy a Litten spying on us right now, but there's also this uh, note right here, so from Wicked Cool Toys, and it says, so y'all can read it right there, says, Leon, we can't wait to see what you think about our new Pokemon line. At Wicked Cool Toys. And there's their uh, information right there. It looks like they're on all social media platforms, so that's pretty cool. And lots and lots of this stuff will get everywhere. It also makes for a nice beard, so that's pretty cool. Oh, back in my day, so this is a nice beard. All right, so I'll put that over there. I just shaved, so now it's pretty good. Ooh. There's lots of goodies in this one. All right, so the first one up is a little cute. Oh, it's a Litten. Whether it be a pirate Litten from Shining Legends or not, it's up to y'all, but that's pretty nice. Oh, wow, this is like their brand. Sorry, Ninja Warrior training, bear with me with the Band-Aid. Wicked Cool Toys has their actual own Pokemon line. And this is like, feels like actually great quality. So essentially this is gonna be me letting y'all know if these are actually worth it or not from Wicked Cool Toys. And so far, this Litten is absolutely cute. This is great. So I'm very impressed right now. That's very nice. Cool, so we got a Litten. What else do we got? We have these. This is a battle figure pack. Also made by Wicked Cool Toys. And there's more of them that you can get right there. Hopefully that's somewhat being in focus. Looks like there's Pikachu, Popplio, no, there's the Litten. And, uh, oh, so we got, we got Popplio and Pikachu in this one. 
These are very, very like, this is like great packaging and good quality. It looks like of the products too. They don't look like the like off-brand products that you see from like a, like from a different country or something. And they're trying to like say they're official. This is actually pretty legit. So got Popolio and Pikachu right there. We have like, oh my, there's a lot of stuff in here. What is this? Another battle figure. Is this of uh, Matang? That's pretty cool. That's really cool. So there's the list again. It looks like it's the same from the uh, other one that we just did. And there's a picture of it. And so pretty cool, pretty cool indeed. What else do we got? Man, they're all lit. There's so much in here. It's like a grab bag special that keeps on giving. Oh, there's the beware. Is that the beware that carries the Pikachu? I'm trying to get, all right, there we go. So yeah. Decidueye. Oh my gosh, this one actually, I don't, do the other ones do? Like make noise or something? I didn't think they did. Whoa. Decidueye has an 8-pack. <laughs> Decidueye works out. So it actually has a little like action launcher thing that you can do. These are legit. I'm actually pretty cool. Like, looks like it's like a football. So it's just in time for the football season. Decidueye is uh, good to go right there. So that's pretty cool. And there's the uh, other ones that you can get. So it's a battle future figure. The other ones were just battle figures. Case in point right here. So battle figure, it says on there. Battle future figure. So I'm guessing the future ones actually come with a future. Like this one shoots the footballs and stuff. Very nice. All right, what else do we got here? Yes, this is it. This is it. Okay, it's a future figure. So it's beware future figure. And it comes with, what does it say? Hugging action. <laughs> I love that. A hugging action slash really gonna eat them up, but that's pretty cool. Oh, and it tells us right here how you actually do it. You squeeze the legs or something and then it squeezes the arms and that's how it moves like that. Oh, that is hilarious. Oh, these are great. Like, I think I may wanna like give these away to y'all. Maybe I'll do that if y'all like, just let me know your favorite thing and uh, be sure to subscribe and comment. Maybe I'll give some of these out to uh, randomly to select winners. And then, oh my. This thing right here. Let's see if I can open that up for y'all. Out of the plastic. And these are all by Wicked Cool Toys. So that's pretty wicked of it. So, all right. So, sorry, Corny. I did it right there. I know. All right. Pop Action Pokeball. And it's really cute. That was very nice. And it actually, I can throw it and a little Pokemon pops out of it and flies. And there's not just Roulette in it. There is actually... Rowlet, excuse me, Pikachu, Litten, and a Popleo. So you get all the starters. You can pick whatever starter you want, and of course, Pikachu, and that is a pop action Pokeball. And then of course, as the uh, stack over here gets bigger and bigger, there is the main event. This is a power action Pikachu. I think for this one, we're gonna have to take it out of the, uh, we're gonna have to demonstrate a way it can do. Hey, Pikachu. What do you think of my YouTube channel? Pikachu. Pikachu likes it. What else can he do? Oh, I think Pikachu, this one's like a little clicky thing and it. it's not working, but at least this one does. Whoa, I think I may have seen these in stores actually. And I didn't actually like go up to it just yet, but. <laughs> That's so cool, where the uh, the cheeks actually light up. And then it also says on the back, there's actually like a lot of different things it can do. So obviously it says its name, Pikachu. And uh, the cheeks light up, it says Pikachu. It says that a hugging sensor? Oh, 360 action sensor. That's really nice. You can actually toss them, because you know Pikachu loves just being tossed like a, like a ball. Let me make sure y'all can see it. Oh, the tail actually lights up as well. So I'm pretty sure I've seen this in stores, but I mean, you can also go check out Wicked Cool Toys. Uh, I put all their links before if you wanna go check it out even more. So there's the uh, front of it. And uh, I'm kind of sad this side is uh, not really working on it. So hopefully, I'm just glad this side is. And it's really cool, like the, the cheeks light up like that. So, oh, what? Oh, oh. Yeah, Pikachu just said subscribe to the channel. So thank you so much, Wicked Cool Toys, for sending me all of these 
amazing, amazing figures. Uh, and thank you so much, not only to Wicked Cool Toys, but Monster for sending me that mystery box. And of course, Cody, Mike, Hollow Hunters, thank you all so much. And every one of you watching right now, for being part of this amazing community, The Heart Squad. Thank you so much for liking my videos, watching my videos, it means the world to me. So I hope everybody has an amazing weekend. And as always, my name is Lean Heart. stay awesome, stay positive. And as always, I will see y'all in the next video.